Welcome to the greatest town on earth, Warsaw, where I grew up. Welcome to the Beskett Stadium. We're here for Aston Villa women v Spurs women, WSL action. Aston Villa are looking to get their first points of the season. It's not been the best of starts for the women, Villa women side. Last season we were absolutely fantastic, we were the best of the rest. But this season we sit near the bottom of the table yet to get a point. So hopefully against Spurs we can get the points today. You can see behind me that the Spurs bus has just arrived as well. So uh, it's a very wet day. Uh, the whole week has been pretty wet here in England. But, you know, today, hopefully, we can get the win today. Up the villa. inside the stadium. Just want to show you my view from the seat. Time losing 2 1. We went 1 0 up with a daily penalty. Um, really worked, well worked with Leon on the right and Blinkill Brown won the penalty. Um, we looked pretty decent going forward. Both wings offering a threat. Blinkill Brown in central midfield is absolutely bossing it. Uh, but on transition, when attacking to defence, uh, just playing through was too easy through central midfield. It's been happening all first half. Uh, it was a mistake for Spurs' first goal and then kill a goal just before half-time. 
just need to get in at 1-1 and reset, but 2-1 down. Um, been playing well going forward, but just need to have a little bit more quality, uh, especially in that final third. Hopefully we can get another goal or get the win. Back after Aston Villa 2, Spurs 4. It was absolutely freezing at the best, Scott. It was so cold. Uh, it was unbelievable. But, you know, Aston Villa women lose 4-2 uh, to Spurs. Defensively, disappointing. Um, really couldn't get going. First 20, 25 minutes, I thought we played really, really well. I thought Laura Blinkhide Brown was sensational for the first 20 minutes. Leon was great on that right hand side. I thought Salmon was good on the left as well. In that opening period, we looked bright, we looked energetic, we looked like we were controlling the game. Um, Spurs then started to grow into it. We went ahead with the penalty, which was uh, a Stonewall penalty. And then just before half time, we conceded, and then, you know, we went into the break 2 1. And it was a frustrating goal to concede. The first one, I think that was the mistake. Um, not great defending. Uh, and then to go down to 2-1 at just before half-time, you know, you really want, don't want to do it. I felt like the ref should have just blew the whistle a little bit earlier, but there we go. Um, and then Spurs just started to grow into the game. Second half, Spurs absolutely bossed that game. I thought Grace Clinton was absolutely sensational in the middle of the park for them. You can see why she has got her England call-up. Uh, but defending-wise for Villa, it was very, very poor. Uh, before the game, we started a warm-up with sort of like four of our back players, like Turner, Corsi, Patton and Parker. And in my head, I just, th I just thought, we've got defensive problems here. Because if we're having to do this four defensive shape before the game starts, it, it really just stuck with me. And I just thought, you know... When you're doing that movement of putting four players and they're just pinging the ball to a to a, a coach and you're trying to keep that solid line, I just thought, well, if you stick a striker in there who's going to run off, then your shape's going to be destroyed already. So, and that's what happened in the second half. That defensive line just couldn't cope with Thomas running in behind them. Yeah, defending has got to be a lot better. It felt like Villa's left hand side was. 
was quite weak today with Nobbs as well and Turner and, and Corsi on that left-hand side defensively. I thought the right-hand side was better with Staniforth, Parker and Leon. Uh, but yeah, that left-hand side for me was quite poor and just defensively we've got to improve. And I felt like Spurs were very, very good when Villa were attacking. And then when that attack broke down on transition through that central midfield area with um, Clinton... On transition, they were very, very good Spurs. And we just really couldn't live with them. And it just felt like when we were trying to defend on transition, we were just like scrambling around. And, and we were trying to just sort of like scurry to get back in shape. And they were so powerful on, on the break. Um, and I thought Martha Thomas took a hat-trick, you know, really, really well. She was a threat all game, you know, running in behind and, you know, fair play to her for getting that hat-trick as well. But I was really impressed with Spurs. I thought they played really, really well. Um, they were the better side. And I just think Villa just need to get a little bit more of a foothold in the game. And hopefully when Darley comes back and Hansen... You know, those are two big players that Aston Villa currently miss at the minute. So, you know, we've got some injuries, but I think especially after the first 20 minutes, if we could have got that second goal and we could have kicked on, um, I felt like, we, you know, we, we, we started the game well enough. So, um, yeah, we was OK, but we, we need to do a lot better and, and we were second best pretty much all over. But, you know, shit. Some players that I thought looked good for Villa. Um, I thought Leon looked really good. And I thought Blinkard was Aston Villa's best player. She was by far Villa's best player on the pitch. I thought the keeper made some great saves as well. So even though we lost, it was you know quite enjoyable. Even though it was quite cold. And there was that big massive post right in front of us. But yeah, um, I enjoyed it. Nice to see them play again. Um, need to get some points on the board pretty, pretty quickly though now. So... Uh, if you are new to watching us, subscribe. Thanks, everybody, and up the villa.